This video will have a short song naming the colors and a description of how colors are formed. Secret of light. Let's explore the spectrum with a guy who brings color to your life. His name is Roy G. Bib. You see him every day. He's kind of hard to visualize until you see light spectrum and break down the mystery of his name. Brilliant color to life. You can see the kid at work when you see a rainbow in the sky. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet are all colors you can identify. Always in the same order for sure. On that you can rely. His name is Roy G. Bib. You see him every day. He's kind of hard to visualize until you see light spectrum and break down the mystery of his name. Through a prism of a raindrop, a colorful explosion he creates. By separating visual light into pieces a rainbow well displays his name is Roy G. Bib. you see him every day he's kind of hard to visualize until you see light spectrum and break down the mystery of his name that Roy G. Bib, he's a real cool cat he's kind of hard to visualize mystery of his name. Sir Isaac Newton is famous for his discovery of gravity. However, he also investigated the nature of light and color. Newton believed that light was made up of an infinite number of tiny particles which he called corpuscles. We now call these corpuscles photons. However, if you can imagine cars moving down a street, you can see light the same way as the Light travels in straight lines. Yet, if you look at this picture, the pencil looks as if it is bent or even broken. How can this be? Stop the video now and try this. The light changes direction when the light moves from air to the water. Newton believed that the light slowed down when it entered a new material, which we call a medium. This is very much like a car running off the road. The wheels on the bottom side these cars enter the new material before the wheels on the top side do. This slows the right side down and causes the car to run off the road to the right. Dictionary.com defines a prism as a transparent solid body often having triangular bases used for dispersing light into a spectrum or for reflecting rays. Newton taught that when a ray of light entered a prism, the light was bent. Violet light was bent the most, and red light was bent the least. The remaining colors fell somewhere 
between these two colors. Since there are an infinite number of photons in a light ray, these photons make a solid bar of color. These colors are arranged in a spectrum. Prisms made of different materials bend the light more or less. However, the colors are always arranged in the same order. Here is a greatly enlarged picture of a rainbow. Rainbows are formed by light refracted or bent as it passes through the raindrops. Different colors of light are still bent different amounts, yet the order of the color remains the same. Newton studied at Trinity College, Cambridge in what would now be called a work study program. That is, he not only studied, but taught less knowledgeable students. However, the plague or Black Death descended on England and the rest of Europe. Trinity College closed and Newton went home for two years. Prisms had been sold in Trinity College at this time and many of the students and professors experimented with these prisms. However, while at home, Isaac Newton carried these experiments further. He used two prisms. Like others, he broke light down into a spectrum. He then blocked all the colors except one and passed that colored light through a second prism. He found that this colored light could not be broken down further. Finally, he tried this experiment with the remaining colors of the spectrum. None of these colors would be further broken down. Isaac Newton concluded that white light was made up of the seven basic colors of the spectrum and no other. Isaac Newton continued his experiments with light. He once again used one prism to break light down into a spectrum. However, he then gathered the light up in a second prism and recombined the light to make white light again. This showed conclusively that white light was made up of the seven colors of the rainbow. If a lemon is covered by light that has all the colors of a rainbow, why doesn't the lemon look like a rainbow and not yellow? Newton tells us that the lemon absorbs or takes in all colors except yellow, which the lemon reflects. We see only the yellow color. If a lemon is in blue light, the lemon will absorb the blue light and there is no yellow light to reflect. What we will see is black. A red apple reflects red, and a green leaf reflects green. But where do we get a color like brown or black? Brown and black are not colors on the spectrum. Here are two experiments that will show you how to make more color. Great opportunity. Um, we have a color, this is a mix skew that I actually ordered online, steesfinger.com. Okay. It is a cake decorator mix with food coloring, but it's a great so it's edible? gel. It, I wouldn't encourage it, but it's not going to hurt the mix. Okay. I would like for you to do, I will hold your back, Jill, and okay. I would like for you just to put three squirts All right. of your blue and kind of hit the side so they're not mixing. Just put a little bit in there, kind of hard. We know that we're talking about the primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. So we don't want to mix. put a little, try not for them to mix okay. yet, because that's kind of the fun part. And then put a little, and it doesn't, you don't have to be exact because the formula is going to change okay. the end result. So put a little red, kind of hard to squeeze a little bit, and I'm going to seal yours. Okay. Now what's kind of fun about this is as you are mixing these, now you can see, 
if you'll take yours and just time right to mix it, you can see that you get different colors. You see the red and blue creates mm -hmm. the purple. You see the yellow and red creates the orange. You see some green in there. So what's really fun about this, as you continue to mix and squash and see the different mm -hmm. colors, eventually, and I've made up a bag, it's going to turn all one color. Okay. Now not so the, pretty anymore. <laughs> right. It's not as pretty anymore, but that is another, that's the way you can take it to a different level, is by the different amounts of the color, you're going to get all one color. So more red's going to create a brown tone, mm -hmm. more blue's going to create a black tone, so kids can experiment. Remember that mixing red and blue produces purple, mixing yellow and blue produces green, finally red and yellow produce orange. Mixing all three colors evenly produces black, adding more red produces brown, adding additional other colors will produce still other colors. Your computer screen can produce millions of colors by mixing only red, yellow, and blue. The second experiment uses a spinning color wheel to mix colors. As the color wheel spins rapidly, the color red and blue are mixed. As expected, the color violet or purple is produced in their stead. The rapidly spinning wheel mixes yellow and red to produce orange. This color wheel should mix blue and yellow to produce green, but it didn't. Both in science and art, we are told that yellow and blue make green, but here it didn't. I could easily fake the middle color to make green, but when you try this experiment, you will know that I had fibbed and faked the results. One very important step in the scientific method is for other scientists to duplicate the experiments done by the first scientist. This process makes sure that the first scientist got the correct results. What I need to do is to look at these unexpected results and see why we did not get green. Here is a picture of the wheel in action. By taking a stop action picture of the wheel while spinning, we can take a closer look. You can see that the string is spinning rapidly and mixing white with the blue and yellow. This is why we get a cream or light brown color. How could we change the color pattern of this wheel to get results?